Hello everyone, I'm Dragonwolf and welcome back to Minecraft Stone Block. When we last left off, I was making a bunch of these condensers. And I made some more. I need to upgrade these. But I did get all the way to the Mach 3 versions of both the uh, energy collectors and the antimatter relays. And I got an extra, uh, extra few uh, condensers. I actually just made another couple. Uh, but today, what I'm going to do uh, is we're going to we're going to try to do something that uh, back in the day a lot of people did, especially when uh, equivalent exchange, what it used to be called back in the day, is make a power flower. I think I have enough to make at least a few. I may need to grab another couple of energy condensers, which I did make. Uh, I did make a few off camera, uh, but first I'm going to start off with you know, three or four. Uh, and we're going to see if we can't, um, do some nifty little things. I, I went ahead and as I, as you can see here, I made another room. This room is a little bit big. Uh, it took, a, took about an hour to design this. Uh, I know that's not very much here, but yeah, you know, it, it, it looks cool. I want to make sure all the spacing was right. And, but basically these guys here are representative of the power flowers. Uh, if you if I break these two blocks, you see that there is it, this is hollow So this is going to be the room where we're gonna like the little space where we put the chest uh, And then what we could do from here Is we'll put the antimatter relay up against it with a condenser right next to it Or collector uh, the, So you have to do it this way in order for this to be uh to get it to where it is so what i want to do is i want to start doing a lot of things with emc we i know we've been relying on chickens we've been lying relying on a lot of things to get a lot of our resources but for some of the lower end resources that we really you know or the higher end sorry the higher end resources that we really need especially like wanting to get a bunch of these neutron collectors this is the next step and i think this is going to be awesome to to try to get it set up so um Let's go ahead and do this and this. Make sure that is on. Yes. And this is on. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to go all the way around this dude. Like so. All, even on the top. Like so. I want to make sure all of it is facing this way. So I might want to do this and then that. So that way I can do this. This. And then we'll do it on this way as well. And this is actually going to be a true flower. I'm going to go, I'm filling all the sides in. But you're probably asking yourself, well, Dragon Whelp, how do you get the items out? Well, I learned a little nifty trick from the one and the only Direwolf 20. Uh, and we can make something called a uh, Phantom Face. If, uh, there it is. The Phantom Face. From actually additions, which calls for an empowered diamond team crystal, a block of ender pearl, and a advanced coil. How do we how do we make this? We need clay, we need light blue blue pigment, and some more clay. So let's grab some diamonds. Diamonds. Let's grab a stack, or however many this machine over here will work. And we can toss those down. Click the button. And we've got 64 diamond team. Uh, I'm going to turn these into blocks because it's cheaper, in theory, to make the block form. It does take a little bit longer, uh, and when I say cheaper, I mean, uh, and these guys don't have an EMC value, so that is unfortunate, but, you know, it's just a little bit of energy. We've got plenty. Speaking of energy, let's go. I haven't checked on my, uh, my orb since... I did anything. I haven't really been able to, to get the, the cleaning of it though, but we've got uh, 769 million RF, so we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, let me put one of these energy condensers in here. Let me grab another one out of the ch uh, out of the system. Energy condenser. There we go. Another one. Awesome. Now we go back down into our little room. <clears throat> And we're going to continue with the power flower. Now, I'm going to build one on camera so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Uh, and then all the all the rest of them, all these guys over here, I'm going to uh, just, you know, build off camera. So that way, really don't uh, have to worry about that. And it won't be boring for you. But yeah, we can set that up. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break one of these guys. <clears throat> and then we're going to make our diamond team 
uh, diamond seed crystal. So this guy goes in the middle. We need clay. We need, ooh, perfect. And then I need a clay block. And then we need some light blue dye. Uh, light blue dye. Was that lapis? I think it's lapis and bone meal. If my mem if my if my memory serves me correct. Yes, light blue dye. Awesome. So we'll put one there. Put our clay, one there, one there, and then our block. Boom! It shouldn't take too long because this guy is super efficient with its energy, uh energy distribution. These guys are continually staying powered and uh, I may be able to speed this up. Let me uh, let me grab the wand. We speed you up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can speed it up uh, with an empty hand. We grab it and we turn it into just diamond seed. So if we need any more of that, <clears throat> I will. Uh, I will make it. But I do need some phantom face. I need four phantom faces. So. And it takes two each. I may have enough. I may have enough. So I need four of these. Making the four of these. I need four chests. And I need four blocks of ender pearl. There we go. Put those in there. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, we're going to need the phantom connector. Which is just... Uh, this guy right here. So we need two Ender Pearl or Ender Eyes of Ender, which easy. There we go. <clears throat> so what I will do at this point, I put this guy. Uh, how am I going to do this? How can I do this? Can we? Can we put it like one, two, three, four? Can we? It's got sixteen block range. But can we click on this guy and this guy? Are they connected? Yeah. We can do this. Go click. Click. Um, put the condenser or a condenser in here. Uh, yeah. This. And then we'll put one right here. So shift right click. Then right click. Or is it shift right click? Okay. So it's shift right click. Uh, so you shift right click the block. And then you shift right click the phantom phantom face so with that <clears throat> being the way it is i should be able to close this guy off uh and i will need a block help me out here make sure that stays the same so technically in theory i should be able to pull items out of here so let's set this guy up i want to to set these up with blocks of uh, not some premium uh red matter i want to start off with blocks of red matter Ooh, wow we've got a lot of red matter i don't know where that came from the so blocks of red matter because it has the highest amount of emc value i think at the moment uh let's see what about emeralds Do emeralds have a high um one emerald is one hundred forty-seven thousand. this one is one million so these guys take a little while to do but i'll target it and as you can see it's starting to to gather gather energy so we'll we'll hook this bad boy up like ugh. cut the block again there we go like that and then what we'll do is we'll take our energy collectors in any space that is open with the the black energy relays we'll plop the guy on like so um let's break this really quick get back here like that now uh, i remember back in the day that it is more efficient if you get some glowstone on top so uh i don't know if that still persists in this in this version but i i am still going to you know do that i'm gonna break up in here break up here glowstone and then replace that with some stone which i have seemed to run out of there we go get some stone there we go so that's got glowstone on top and these guys all should get glowstone on top like so Oop, i almost forgot that uh and i get underneath here and do it like that 
Ah. Do it like this. There we go. Now it doesn't matter which way they face. That that this to me is just a personal preference because uh, I like I like my OCD would, would will tear me apart if I don't because uh, I'll notice the block being out of place or in the wrong direction. I'm gonna be like, oh, I gotta change it. But yeah, we've got it. Uh, put our glowstone back there, glowstone there and there. Now we should not see any red, uh, the red circle on the top. Yeah, we're good. Now these down here don't get to be glowstone, but in theory, any block or any uh, any item that gets generated by said thing should be able to be pulled out through the interface of the phantom face here. We're gonna set this up kind of like this, and then we'll have an energy condenser. I need to grab an extra one. Energy condenser. Down here, or just any chest would work too. Uh, but we'll set this guy up like this. So let's set this up to be. It will be extract always active. And this guy will be extract always active. Extract always active. Extract always active. Okay. That should work, hopefully. So, now that I've got one built, give me just a few minutes, and I'll finish building the rest of them. Be right back. Alright, we got all this taken care of. We got some of them. Uh, we ran out of collectors. But, that's okay, because as soon as we get some of this uh, red matter out of these out of this m machines that we've got already, we should be okay. I did change this to a diamond chest just to be on the safe side because i didn't know if this uh, the energy collector or energy condenser actually accepted items but what we could do is we can snag one of these and set this up here target that and then we can grab say i don't know emeralds something that we have tons and tons and tons of and go zoink there we go awesome so now we can while that thing is running just i'll leave the top open let's just grab you know what let's just grab an emerald block a stack of emerald blocks haha -ha. boom yeah now we're cooking with fuel now we're cooking so then as we go through here we're actually making it faster eight more awesome we go and then here comes the last one so i'll put uh, i'll target uh actually i want to finish that one off uh emeralds let's just grab some there we go all right so let's target that and the cool part about it, though, is that no EMC is lost when you do the switch. So I should have enough now to finish off this build. Like so. Make sure we double check. Yep, everything's good. And then we'll just low stone it up. Um, here. Yeah. I mean, there may be a couple of blocks here and there that I've missed. But like I said, I don't know if the glowstone thing works anymore. But... Never hurts to try. Here we go. So now, let's see. Do we have anything yet? Not yet. But, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? So we can come over here. Snag our watch. Let's put these, take this out. Oh. Uh, there we go. Grab our pedestal. And this works. This absolutely, positively works works and i may reroute uh, i may do a little bit of rerouting for this let's grab our get a wrench this uh, let's move this chest uh i'll put this i don't know somewhere right there and then we'll grab these and then we'll do sides 
So that way I could put the pedestal on top. Hoping that works. This. Connect them there. We'll come down like this. So we want to insert here. Insert on here. Little messy, but eh, it works. Because I want this guy in the middle, and I don't want you to do anything with this guy. So disconnect, please. Thank you. All right, so now that we've got that all taken care of, we should be able to put the watch on there, and boom! Now, granted, you can't see it, but I can I can pop in here to this one. You see how fast it's going. I mean, we can turn the watch off. I mean, it doesn't really look like it's doing anything, but trust me. Trust me, it's it's doing stuff. Because you can see how much energy is here. We come in and see how much more fast, uh, a lot faster than it is. It's it's not delivering, though, because the, I, I broke the condenser. But, um, or the relay. But there we go. We should start eventually seeing red matter populate this, red matter block populating this chest. And we can use that for any future endeavors. Now, granted, I can expand upon this room. I can go that way. You know, however many more of these that I want. Uh, but I do want to uh, to have something that complements this very, very, very much. Uh, and we want to try to, to do our best to, to manipulate that. But uh, in order for that to happen, I want to get an energy condenser Mach 2. Uh, so let me grab you. What would it cost... To get a mop to uh we could probably do that it takes 10 million rf but i think we have it so we need three blocks of matter uh three dark matter blocks three red matter blocks uh a quantum storage unit which i haven't really messed with uh how are you You're good okay so let's get the system for now we can tell the system hey one two three boom uh let's do dark matter I need three of you, please. Boom. And I may even make another clock, uh, another pedestal with the clock, because I did teach the system off camera. I did teach it how to make it, just in case. But the, the, it does have an EMC value, so that that's the cool part about it. Um. So we got our three dark matter blocks. Uh, what else do we need there, sir? We need two quantum storage units. So let's look up. Quantum. Quantum storage. Which needs obsidian, some iron, and a diamond storage chest. So that doesn't look too bad. Diamond takes gold storage crate. Uh, gold takes iron. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of crafting involved. So I will just teach the system how to do all this. Because it was just, it'd be a lot easier to do that. And how much energy we got, boys? 896,000. That's that's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. So quantum takes gold diamond. And then this is just yeah, like this. We'll teach that how to do that. Let's put these over here not to get them confused. So I wish I wish like the ME system, uh, you could pull straight from here. Uh but I should be able to boop boop. Yeah, we've got the stuff. I don't know if I can, I, I need to do that. So iron goes into gold like so. And then the uses of this go into the diamond one. And then the diamond one goes into the quantum one. Now, if I'm not mistaken, storage. Yes, we need it. We, these are quests. So as we make them, we should pull them out and put them in our inventory. Yeah, so grab this guy, and then while we're doing that, we can put all of those in there. There we go. Iron crate. So we'll put that one in there, and then we'll do crate. We've got an iron one already. We need to just go ahead and make the gold one. Shouldn't take but just a split second. Put it in inventory. Put that one away. Great. Uh, so let's make the diamond one now. There we go. And then now we should make the quantum... Be able to make the quantum storage now. 
and then this should complete that line. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Awesome. So now we can collect all the wards, all the rewards from these here. Yeah. And uh, what is this one? A quantum tank? How much is it? To, how is it hard is it to make a quantum tank? Quantum. Uh. Pfft. Easy. Just make one now. There we go. I don't know what the quantum does as far as the tank's concerned, but it looks like it was easy. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it holds a lot. I, I would have to say it would hold a lot. Actually, quantum doesn't say. It does have an EMC value, though. All right, so now that we've got that, we should have another quest complete. Then we can take, the, take a few seconds to open up our quest rewards. Uh, mana lens, okay, okay. We need to get into Batania's. Ooh, I, I, <laughs> I think this, I think it's, it's hinting at, hey, you need to get into Batania. Nature, random things. Yeah, I don't like those blocks. Ooh, mechanism. And that's it. Awesome. So we'll throw all of this in here. Boom. Uh, let's see, there, there. Uh, put our, uh, our phantom connector, I put it in here with our tools. This away, this away, this away. Uh, so we've got that now. Uh, let's see, what else did we need, a good sir? We need a Mach 3 and a uh, Mach 3 collector and a Mach 3 relay, which we have on our person. Let's go make this thing. Let's go make the... Uh, does it even have an EMC value? That's the cool part about it. It does. 9 million EMC, but it does have an EMC value. So in the future, if we decide we just don't want to craft it, calls you know calling 10 million or using 10 million uh, energy, uh, we can always just uh, make one from the EMC. So, all right. So we need three of you, and then three of you. One, two, three. Oops. Oh no! Oh no! I can't break that. Uh, whoops. Well, we got a random dark uh, red matter block in our ba in our crafting room. Whoopsie. And right, we need one of you and one of you. One of you and one of you. And we take this out and put the energy collector in there. We sh should have everything. Yes. Energy condenser. Dark matter, dark matter, dark matter. Oh, it needs two quantum storages. Ah, that makes sense. So I'm glad we taught the system how to do this because otherwise we'd have to go through and, and make another one. But yeah, just easy peasy simple. Easy peasy <laughs> lemon squeezing. We'll throw that there. There we go. Oh, this is going to take a while. Put these away. Oh, well, that was quicker than I thought. See how much faster crafting is when it comes to like instant, instant research. I pulled straight from the, the cube down there. So now we have an energy condenser Mach 2. Yes, Mach 2. Uh, where is that? Project E, Mach 2. Claim that reward. What did we get? Oh, some viaducts. Uh, it's been a long time since I've gotten those. It was in my chest. So, in the time that we've been talking, we've made, I had put one in there, so we've made 12, 12 red matter blocks. That is amazing. Now that we've got that, though, we can put this in here, and so we basically can make anything that we want. So, I want to try, let's see, how close are you? No, you're 50%, you're good. I want to try to break one of these. I am going to break one of these, because they do have an EMC value, 3 million EMC. EMC. I do want to target that. Grab the red matter, except for one. Keep one in there. And boom, look, seven. Seven. We've already got seven neutron collectors from that. Ah, oh, this is going to be so awesome. And we can just boop, 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 boop. Make sure these all are set to always active. Always active. Oh, we're going to be booming now gonna be booming now oh this is so cool now i can i think if i'm not mistaken i can actually stack 
I think up to three. Actually, you might be able to make more. But let's let's do let's let's see. Can we can we ask for this? <coughs> no. Uh, let's grab some emerald blocks. We have a lot of emeralds. Let's grab a bunch. There's four pedestals. I'll take it. And the watch has an EMC value, so let's grab some watches. Look at that! Four watches. Uh, that's awesome. That is completely and utter awesomeness. And we'll just put that in there for for now. Uh, so that's how I'm going to make my extra neutron guys. I'm going to put that right there and make sure I set you to always active. So this guy should be filling up quite quickly. I did go ahead off camera uh a while back i don't know if i showed this but i did put a lot of upgrades in there so that way if i'm away or not able to to get to it in time it's not going to fill up uh technically it wouldn't be filled up anyway because it's just super slow but but uh one thing that we can do and we can see how how slow these guys are i can put that there the watch and trust me i, I know a lot of people are going to be like dragon well don't use so many you're cheaty Dude, I'm going to abuse these guys. And look at this. Energy collector for days. And we could stack one on top of here. Turn it on even faster. Go one more. I don't know if I can do that, but there we go. Now, basically, these things will run as fast as your... Uh, like, the more you add, the more powerful computer you need. Because it does, it does detriment... Uh, slowly. I'm actually going to need another couple. Please, please. Uh, oh, there you go. Two more. Got four. That works. All right, I need another collector. Ooh. Maggie, please. Yeah, I'm just going to grab one. Put that in there. Make an extra one. Oh, a stack. Wow, a stack of emeralds makes three or a stack of emerald blocks makes three ish ish there we go and i'll keep this one on me uh and i'll start putting it put one in here just in case but i do want to replace this guy and like i said before we're going to go around the room and we're just going to make this so so ridiculously powerful always active you know what I could do? I could grab my probe, my conduit probe, and copy, and then paste, 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 paste. So that way I don't have to, like, continually, pop, you know, uh, do all that thing. And then we could do this, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, then paste, 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 just right-clicking. Look at that. Look at that. This thing is going berserk. And then what I can do now is I need to I need a couple of watches, please. Grab our con neutron condenser out of there. That back. I only need, let's see, got four watches. Then I have one for my personal, and then I can just recycle these. There we go. Now I'm going to put three more of these doodads. Oh, you guys are probably going to hate me. You probably are going to hate me, but <laughs> I've got it. This stuff is awesome. Speed it up. I mean, basically all it is is just speeding up the time. Uh, that's time less uh, time that we don't have to spend just waiting. Like usually it's just like when I say be right back, it's usually just a lot of time that I use uh, basically just wait. So now that we've got this, the, these these should start flowing like crazy. Uh, to, just to give you a good, for instance, let's uh, break this. You can watch this one speed along. I mean, it's a lot faster. It's a whole lot faster. And it's just insane, 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 insane. Put that back. And I do want to put this guy back um in the crafting room over here so that way when we do craft it doesn't take forever i don't want i won't turn it on until we need it but yeah this is awesome 
This is awesome. Uh, let's cancel these. I don't need to pull out the sides. That way it makes it look kind of uh, like futuristic tech type thing. Oh, how many more have we got? We've got eight. Let's put one in there. Throw that in there. We've got four more. Oh, that's so awesome. Uh, put this one away. Future use. Should be good there. We can go one, two, one. And then I'll put this one in the corner like so. Grab our conduit probe. Paste that there. 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 And these guys are just going to make piles of neutrons for us. Like... Seriously, it's it's going to just sit there and chill. I may even add one more emerald upgrade for this, but yeah, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now we can take a look at our questing chain. Uh, we can make ourselves a client star, but the next thing I want to get so that way we can start transmuting one thing into another rather than using the condensers is the transmutation tablet. Uh, so look up tablet. This doodad. Oh... Uh, we to make the tablet we need the table. That's it. All right, so we need energy con energy condensers. Oh, excuse me. We need energy condensers, HDPE sheets. Uh, we need pixie dust. So we will have to get into Batania at least a little bit. Uh, we're gonna need some night slime. How do we make night slime? Well, I mean, there's a chicken form of it. Uh, casting. Uh, what is this? Alloying? Yeah, alloying. So it's uh, molten iron, liquid purple slime, and game freezing. Don't freeze. Uh, seared stone. That shouldn't be that hard. So basically, uh, the next few episodes we're, is we're going to try making ourselves the table uh, and getting to that. And the cool part about it, the table has an EMC value. So we gotta, we gotta find some way of teaching the table to its, to itself. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, we're gonna just let this sit. We've got 12 again already. <sighs> Get some more of these bad boys. Now, I'm not gonna keep that guy, uh, that condenser on all the time, uh, on that in particular set. Um... Like once I fill this room up with the with these guys, we, we should be good. I can place one here. Place one oh here. Come out the bottom. Cancel that one. Place one there. Oops, yeah. Always active. Uh I could place one there. I could place one there. And I'm just going to have this room just absolutely stocked full of them. Because, you know, with, with the clocks, with the flotch of flowing time, like these guys, it shouldn't take that long to, to, to get a bunch of what we need. Yes, there's probably going to be a time where I'm going to be like, Man, why did I make more? But we should be good. So we've got, what, one left? Hmm. Can I get another one? Just one more. All I want. We'll just leave that there. Mellowing in its in its juices. Might need to grab two more, but it's alright. So I'll put one there. I'll grab another one and put it there. And we'll set this one like that. And this one like that. So, uh, good stuff, good times, good stuff, good times. And these guys, I don't know how much, uh, if, if these guys reach all the way over here. Uh, but I do know it encompasses the entire block itself, uh, the chest itself. And to be honest, it may be more beneficial to put the Mach 2 in there. I don't know. Uh, if it is, let me know. I might trade one of these out for the Mach 2. Uh, I mean, we can just, I can just test it. Whoops, I did not mean to break that glowstone. I can replace it. But yeah, we can simply just test this and see if the Mach 2 is, is better. So we're, we're getting at a, a relatively decent rate. Uh, I need another block, please. Thank you. So I break this chest. And I grab the Mach 2. 
Uh, I need to, to finish that out. That way I'm not wasting. There we go. Well, just... Well, what am I talking about? Wasting. <laughs> we have we have more items than we know what to do with these days. Is that faster? Uh, we need this, please. Is this faster? Mm, no, it doesn't look faster. All right. So the energy condenser, I know the Mach 2, um, when you're, when you're doing the Mach 2 stuff, uh, I know that if you're, when, when it comes to changing or, or making items, the, you know, the condenser Mach 2 is faster. Now let's cancel that. I know this one is faster for converting. So like if I put that neutron collector in there, uh, it would probably, like if I put blocks in there to get it started, uh, and the, you know, Mach 1 condenser, it would take forever. It would, it would do one item per tick, I think. Whereas this one, it does like a stack a tick, if I'm not mistaken. I don't, I don't know the specifics, but, uh, yeah. What would it, what would it call to make this into a furnace? The red matter furnace, we may, uh, put the red matter furnaces in these guys because the red matter furnace let's uh take a look red matter furnace red matter furnace in itself is 10 million emc um and this one is just a million so it's 10 times more potent that might work depending on how fast we get these and it looks like we're getting one every couple of minutes or four every couple of minutes because there's four four of them working We'll just have to, I have to see, test it. But, uh, yeah, uh, EMC, gotta love it, gotta love it. It's getting to the, it's getting to the part where it's, it's kind of almost cheaty, uh, because of how much we can exploit, you know, speed with the watch of flowing time. Uh, I mean, it was, it was almost to that point when we started using the acceleration wand to speed things up, but now it's just like acceleration wand, what? <laughs> Just put a watch down i think the watch is more powerful anyway but anyway thank you everybody so much for watching if you did enjoy this uh if you did enjoy the episode please do remember to give it a big thumbs up if you have any comments questions or concerns or any tips tricks or anything that you would like me to build in the future please let me know in the comment section down below other than that thank you again so much for watching until next time see you later